there are times when you want to use an analog signal con to control something from your digital micro and uh, you know we all know about using uh, pulse width modulation to uh, create a duty cycle and that can be filtered down to an analog signal but uh, sometimes you need electrical isolation and also you need level shifting suppose you want to do uh, 0 to 10 volts now there's lots of ways you could do this but one of the simplest ways is with an opto isolator it's cheap it's simple and uh, it works quite well so here I have one of these uh, it's a five dollar signal generator uh, that simulates a microprocessor uh, if you can't read the display I know I can barely read it uh, just before uh, I made this vi just before I was going to make this video uh, I had everything all working here wanted to neaten things up a little bit and I did some soldering and uh, some solder dropped on the board short out the display I see so it it still works you just can't read it uh, this was this circuit was requested by someone and it just goes to show no deed goes unpunished so let's get back to the circuit this is simulating a micro so this would be 5 volts coming out it goes through a 300 ohm resistor to an opto isolator I use a PC817C uh, you know they're cheap the, uh, the C version has a gain of about uh, three it's a current transfer of uh, 300 percent that means so if you go through with one milliamp you'll be able to sync three milliamps through the through the photo opto isolator transistor now that pulls up the signal we have to pull down with this 750 ohm resistor and basically our timing is done to this uh, 15k resistor I got uh, a couple resistors in series and we can adjust up the output level to whatever you need fine-tune it with this pot so this is a fairly simple voltage divider and let's go through this we have uh, right now 100% duty cycle let's set that up at 10 volts and we'll go down to uh, this is 90% duty cycle and you see it's 9 volts a little extra opto isolators turn on four times faster than they turn off so you'll get a little higher number with an opto isolator and also you want to have this resistor as low as possible this opto isolator that's in here is not one of my PC817C's it's one with a much lower gain and uh, that's why we're not getting as good a number you know you want to have this so this voltage between here and here at 100 percent turn on is is close to zero that it goes into full saturation now if we go down this is 75 percent and we've got we've got 7.59 volts all this is fairly close you're not going to be doing anything really that critical I mean this saves not having to do op amps and everything else at 50 percent it's uh, 5.11 volts twenty five percent it's two point five nine and at ten percent it's uh, one point oh five three you know fairly linear like I say if this resistor was lower uh, if this value was a little bit higher over here and uh, this opto isolator had a little more gain the numbers would be a little bit better but 
you know, uh, if you got an old power supply somewhere, a wall wart, chances are it'll have one of these opto isolators in it. You can get them for free. Uh, those typically won't have a high gain, but you can still do this. Uh, I'm coming in with 12 volts here, and you know, this resistor and this resistor load form a voltage divider. Whatever device you're going into is going to have some resistance to it. So a lot of these are kind of unknown. Basically you just can go in there, put a pot, and uh, come up with the value you actually need to drive with. Now here's the schematic for this. Again, you have the micro, you go through with a uh, 300 ohm resistor, 220, whatever you want to use. Uh, you go into pin 1, and this is just an LED in, internally, and it comes out pin 2. This is your common. Now for the output, here's the opto isolator. The collector is pin 4. You put that to 12 volts, 10 volts, whatever voltage you have. Uh, available and that voltage can be common to this one or it can be totally isolated. We have this 750 ohm pull down resistor so basically uh, when you're this turns on it charges up this capacitor for a certain amount of time and then it turns off and it discharges. Well that average is what your voltage is going to be coming out. I use only like a 2UF resistor that's fairly fast response. Again, you can make it anything you want, but uh, generally the, the larger the capacitor, there'll be a, a time delay in change in settings. So it's best to go as small as possible that you can tolerate so it's a fast response. I mean, this, this pot here can be anything. You just need to, uh, this will form a basically a voltage divider. So we're coming up with 12 volts and we're coming out with about, you know, ten and a half volts here. So, <clears throat> a little bit of adjustment is nice, and uh, that can be just a little ten turn trim pot or whatever. And you get your zero to ten volts, or you could do zero to twenty five. Uh, many times, if you have a a VFD motor controller, that'll have a uh, twenty five volts available, which can power this. So this is the system. It's uh, it's quite simple, quite useful, and I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching.